pointing in our direction. Oh. Thing out. Oh. Here's the rival. I think. and welcome to Reading Japanese Meet, which tonight is sharing its date with a football match. Majeski Stadium is just behind us, um, so there's going to be a lot of random people around walking and, and driving, so uh, we're going to have to battle with that today. And check out this 300ZX I've just spotted in the traffic. That's pretty crazy. So I've grabbed my traditional McDonald's and it's time to capture the cars arriving. We've actually got the Bristol City football team arriving in their coach. Well, first of all, we've got this Lexus IS200 with a body kit and a spoiler. And talking of a lot of mods, we've got this Focus ST next up with the air scoop and two holes in the bonnet. And the first R35. Oh, this R32 sounds charged, although you won't be able to hear it due to the... Oh, there you go, you, you can hear it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. You can thank football for the traffic of the night, but it will eventually go away. The game starts in a few minutes. you got a two-tone GD86 and the first Toyota Chaser of the night. Oh, the bikes are joining in, but we want to hear the 1J. I know which sound I prefer the most. Ah, oh, check out the Aventador rear lights on the GT86. A lot of people are really eager to watch the feet ball, but we're more eager to see the modified Japanese cars with odd coloured wheels. The Evo clan are trying to pass through. They're in the wrong lane, but I'm sure they'll find a way. It's cool seeing a bunch of JDM cars within the lineup of football hooligans. So whilst the football fans are confused as to why we're here, the evidence is right in front of us on R33 with a large spoiler and a Mustang. Oh, we don't want to see black and white spherical objects go into a net. We want to see colours and sounds and, and all of this and green Mr. Twos look like the one over there. Oh, the Mondo! Oh my goodness! Was that just a football fan? Because that was confusing. Although he did come equipped with one of those blurry number plates. Um, there's a puppy. He's here to watch the football. He is a Bristol City fan. Who does the MR2 support? I can't think of a green football team. The Fiesta's is entertaining himself with some revolutions and spins. <laughs> The budget MX-5 has a bit of overspray on its roof and is doing the old uh, rear window delete for weight saving, let's just say. And the orange MX-5 has neons because bring neons back, ladies and gentlemen. And with the lit MX-5, we have a TVR Tuscan. Just randomly. Yeah. yeah. Where we're going, we don't need roads. And she also has rear screen deletes and her favourite teddy bear from childhood. <laughs> There you go, S13, PS13, both in cream, and another PS13 on the rear. That's quite the combo. Yo bro, what colour are you going bro? I'm going cream bro. Oh, same bro, we're going cream bro too. Oh bro, let's drive together bro. Yeah, great idea bro. Oh bro! I feel like we're, we're letting this one down, we're missing him out. There you go, a threesome. Yeah. Oh. It's, all, it's all happening now. got worse. Check out the Astra! Oh, what a day. Check out the Astra, that is a rarity. Yeah, we're liking that. It's not Japanese though, so we'll move on to the MX-5. And talking of MX-5s, we've got an MX-5 times 8 and a 206, but yeah, there's lots. Oh, the E36 is looking like a Japanese car, with the neons as well. Oh, there's an R33 here as well. Welcome to our world. There could be thousands of cars up there that we don't know about. Um, no one can get in due to the game, which is about to start over there. There's the, there's the stadium. You can hear a few cheers in the background. People are making noises. But... Oh, chairs. Oh, the chaos is opening up now. MX-5s are coming through. 
emotions are going on. Do you reckon it's boosted? Do you reckon that's why it's got the vents? Which do vent? Club 1JZ sticker on the E36. A little bit sus. Neons to match my t-shirt. Bring neons back, available here. Another Zupra with a Z. And we've got some horny people. Oh, there's a Sora with an S2K behind. There's a Subaru as well. And check out the spoiler on the Starlet. Oh my god! Oh, a long time no see. Another black chaser. Oh, there's a lol coming in. Oh, that's the one with the blurry number plate as well. Oh, S2000 is up the rear. Uh -huh, hello. The chaser is negotiating some traffic. Making some noises. Oh, they're all coming in now. Salika GT4, we've got the IS200 Estate. There's a Civic S2000 and a lol. It's a V8 and was popping. There's an R32 behind as well. So this was this. Whoa, that was the Lexus. Ah, oh, we now have a S15 with an R32 behind it. Another Sora. RV-powered S15, the RV-powered R32, and the Sora, which is powered by something that I don't know yet. So we also have a Honda Legend and, and a Glanzer. Ah, Clio gang. So the football is just about to start. I think we still got 15 minutes, so I think the traffic's going to die down soon. There's an Evo 10, there's a Fiesta ST, there's an EV3 some turbo flutters. The Evo 10 has been fluttering as well. There's a Subaru behind it. In fact, there's two, a Tubaru, Tubaru behind it and an RX-7. Hmm, some subtle revs. Oh, and some flames. That'll explain the revs. There we go. He needs to come forward a little bit and keep doing it because I'm, I'm missing all of this. There you go. Some external combustion. This really is an MX-5 meet. Every <laughs> every month we come here. Oh, there's a few Sauras here as well. Oh, the Z is going the wrong way. That's actually quite clean. It's not Japanese though, so let's film the MX-5. He's on a scooter. The Sora brings some more Japanese cars. A Civic with an intercooler, maybe. That was a 1UZ V8 in the Sora. And there's a V8 Land Rover cruising around. Another bronze Z, unless it's the same one. Ah, the screamer suggests that that was an intercooler and it is turbocharged. That also proves my theory. It is okay. Well, yeah. Check out the Defender behind the oh! E46. Oh, he pops. I'm more interested to listen to the V8 of the Defender 90. There's side pipes out the rear underneath the V8 badge. Squeaks. There is another clan to be seen behind the GC86. We've got a couple of R33s. One of them is wide body with the large spoiler. You'll notice the side pipes and the lack of neons presently, but I'm sure that will change as the evening goes on. Then we've got the grape colored R33. <laughs> S15 with their blurry number plates. MX5s are playing around. There's another R33. Don't think we're going to get any more scent, but uh, that was smelly. Does his sat nav says port and starboard instead of left and right? Ah, oh, red and black Fiesta with the Subaru on the rear. Oh, it flutters. So there's an i30 and a Stager, a 350Z, an MX5, and a few others within the traffic, and a mask. That was a turbocharged MX-5 Mark One. As is evident by the sounds. Another 350Z. Ah, also charge. Everyone's putting like superchargers and turbos on their cars these days. So that's got the Nismo body kit on it as well. And a Nismo badge. And it's an import. I didn't know there were any Nismos in this country, but that could be a genuine Nismo 350Z, which has been boosted. What? And the police have just arrived. 
for the hooliganism that's about to unfold. So the police are pointing in our direction. Hopefully they're witnessing the lovely job that the council have done to the bushes, cussing them down for extra visibility of the main show. And behind the vans, we've got an M1 something I. I think he's going to go slowly past the police. And we've got a Calypso Red E30 also behind the police van. So there's an M2, a Mr. 2, a Glanzer, and another S13 all in the traffic to come in. The oh, and a Subaru as well. You're a bit late. The, the game's about to. St it's, yeah, it's starting now. The 200SX with the Mr. 2 is a pop up convoy, although he is down at the moment, whereas he is fully up. And as the Nismo 370Z appears, we've got a few more 350s in the traffic. Oh, someone is popping. I can't even work out which car that is. It's not the Twingo. It's not the M140. It's not the MX-5. It's not the Subaru or the Skyline either. Or the Ford C-Max with the racing stripes. That is Cammy. Yeah. Oh, he's nudging his friend forwards. <laughs> well, that was nice. And a grrr. an exhaust, that's why the flame wasn't coming from the rear. Because he only has a single exhaust. Oh, there you go. All of the noises. Yeah, he's converted his, his exhaust to a single exit for better flames. Now the MX-5s are causing a scene. Similar, but not quite the same. You've got the DC-2 and a PS-13. Oh, there's a there's an S15 coming around the mountain. Salika S2000, some more pops down the bank. There is a purple golf who is shouting at his mates and is giving the finger. Oh look, it's the white RX7. It's actually a pretty decent turnout tonight, despite the football. Roll cage in the back of the M3 and S15. That is an RV in that S15. These cars are using air to lower themselves. Many different sounds. A plethora of sounds from horns and exhausts. There's a pink 350Z and what appears to be an RX-8 with some neons. I wore the right t-shirt today and you can too! Colourful neons and an S14. So you've got the S14, you've got the RX-8 with the multicoloured neons and some appreciation. Oh, Oh, the police are there. What are they going to do? Are they going to do anything? I don't think they saw anything that happened because nothing happened. We promise. They definitely saw it. I think. No. No, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe he got away with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're distracted by all the colours, because there was a lot of them. Nice spoiler on the Prelude, and we've got some courses coming in too. So now that we've got the football fans out of the way, all of the Japanese cars are rolling in, including some of the non-Japanese cars, like the Mustang. Oh, it's a Shelby GT500. What? Yeah, it's got the carbon wheels. There's only like a handful of these in the country, and here one is at Reading Japanese Meat in front of the fake taxi. Oh, yes. Oh, and a micro with a bonnet scoop. And the ducktail. That's the combo. So you've got the, the Shelby. Oh, someone stalled. Oh, very German. There you go. Started up. No one noticed. <laughs> Wide body IS. Oh. Prepared. Are we prepared for any of this? No? No. Lance is doing some turbo flutters. Ah, oh, you'll notice he's got the fancy charging cable for his phone. Look at it as all the energy flows into the mobile device. Something else purple is coming up. It's a 350Z. So we've got a pink one and a purple one tonight. <laughs> one J sound like the one in a white tracer which I have been told is behind a bush. The RS3 is trying to do some pops in the traffic. Bam, bam, bada, 
Come on, MX5 with the luggage rack, so she's ready for her camping trips. And purple wheels, and they're enjoying the sunshine. <laughs> oh, there isn't any. So, purple wheels on the Civic, and the white chaser that we discussed has turquoise wheels. We got the 350Z Rocket Bunny purple and green Joker spec. There's the luggage rack, a bike. Oh, yeah, the sticker says all that it needs. It doesn't even need to say that. You could get away with not having the sticker, and we'd know what the sticker says. GR Yaris again, another bike. Where's the white chaser? He's up there. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. The chaser's doing some noises. It's doing chaser things. Lots of white JDM machines and a Toyota Supra. And here is the white chaser making his entrance to the meet. That wasn't a Jordan, I think. We've got the BMW Gang E36 with the 1 Series with a M2 front bumper. And I think this had a 116i badge on the back of it when I last saw it. Someone's popping by the Chaser, but it's not the Chaser. E36 is sounding good. The Sportage does not know what hit him. Have a look, folks. This is definitely a 116i, and you can trust me on that. Listen to all those. So we can hear some revs in the car park and we can hear that a goal has just been scored so congratulations to one or the other, commiserations to the other or the other. The 4 Series is rocking around the roundabout using all of his suspension and a poor soul is learning to drive in the middle of all of this as a transit comes in with some wooden boards on the back. So another BMW gang, I'm not sure if this one is meant to be blue or green. I wonder what purpose these cars are here for, what's, what's their plan for the night? Uh, Looking at their wheels. Entertainment. Entertainment purposes, yes. They won't send it. Well, you, you see there's some wheels in the in the rear seats there. It's a bike. It's a bike. Oh, it's a bike. BMX. <laughs> well, no, no, they are wheels though. Bikes have wheels. I wasn't wrong, but I, I was wrong. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! That is a request I have not had today. Yesterday, we, we will talk about that later. We've got a free oh, a, a V8, a charge. Oh, the Civic's making some sound. Wow, that sounded good. That is a good sound E36. That is a Civic. what we really want so he, he's more normal than the, than, than the other guy I, I'm gonna claim. Oh it's something a bit different, a Sierra Estate coming into the meet with a few panels that have been repaired throughout its years and a Nissan Sunny behind and the Bronze 350Z presumably one of the ones we saw earlier who's replaced some lights into the rear bumper there and a bicycle. Oh we got an air sports and another white chaser coming in. How's that? <laughs> Has another S14 had an incident here? They've replaced a bit of the curve. The Varietta has neons! Bringing the neons back. Even more neons! Oh, M140 is off already. Does that mean that we should conclude this video and head in? Because I think that is most of the arrivals in the mix. Other than these few hatchbacks. So that was pretty much that for the cars arriving at the Reading Japanese meet. So keep an eye out for the cars leaving. Uh, it's going to be a good one today because it's a great turnout despite the football. So hope you enjoyed that video. Follow me on Instagram for the weekly updates and highlights about these meets that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.